welcome back guys and today we are going to look at how we can work with the validations in a form using livewire now before we get into that why don't we have some uh, styling on our page so what i will do is i'll get bootstrap and here i will have this you know cdn link i don't want to do an npm install right now so just have the cdn url for our css so these are the styles which are being added and before that i'll add this and in here we should have a little bit of styling which is fine now one additional thing which we need to do is sorry it should be container and in that i'll have this so what is going to happen is this will be somewhere inside this right so this is fine and as we said right let's look at how we can do basic validations so to do that why don't we um have we already have a database right so this is the file right and we have let me see if i have some users in my database i do so why don't we try and create a registration form a small little registration form using livewire so i'll go inside my terminal i'll have php artisan make livewire registration form so um this is again you know i am still inside the concept of creating components in livewire i haven't created a page even now okay because ideally then we would have you know like to create a component which is the form uh, sorry the registration page and in that we will have the form and directly you know give that but that's not something which we are doing right now we are going to create a form component and that is going to be served by the blade component even now later on we will see how we can do an spf uh, thing with livewire but till then let's hold on to this i'll have two files registration form.php and registration form.blade now i would like to have some fields in this form so let me just you know, work with the markup and then i'll come back okay so we have the form in place i have just a basic div structure where we have a row column and then i have this form tag inside that i have this name field email field okay this should be text so yes we have this name uh, name field okay uh, email password confirm password and register now i have not added the name yet i'm assuming that i will be able to do wire model and you know, submit the form so let's first look at you know where we are, whether we are able to render it or not so to do that right now we have only one route which is live wire and that is loading this blade.php right so instead of this i'll call the register form registration form sorry registration form and we should be able to see the form and we do okay now let us start looking at how we can uh, basically wire this up with live wire so first things first i'll have certain variables in place so public dollar name okay so i have these four variables in place all of them you know, for now can be empty and let us you know bind them wire model why don't we do a little shortcut in here wire model equals and then ok 
can I? Yes, I can copy this because the IDs are almost the same, right? So I'm just doing a little bit of shortcut and only thing I think confirm password was different. Yes, so I'll just change that. Okay, so let's quickly check through this. So name is wired to name, model email to email, password and confirm password, right? So basically now my input fields are wired to the public properties here. Now let's see if I can submit and get those values. So in here, in the form tag, I'll have wire submit and then let's just say we will add prevent as well which it prevents the form or the page to reload okay because it doesn't propagate the event of form submit ahead which means the page will i mean the form will not actually do a form submit and the javascript will be able to handle it and then we you know use our code so this prevent is very important but i will show you still um, you know, just to make you clear on certain things so on handle or rather let's just say on submit okay this is anything which you can write and you just need to ensure that whatever is here is available as a public function in here okay and let's just do logger dollar name dollar email dollar password dollar confirm password okay where is my log file let us here just clear it out and with this let's just try once okay without roy okay this is not type password i guess we have made a mistake yep anyways we can still submit i don't see a problem in here i'll hit the register button undefined variable name that's interesting name is here hmm oh i i get it i made a blunder these are php variables so we need to do this dot okay i i guess you have already seen that <laughs> sorry about that okay this form is now in a limbo limb let's refresh okay and hit register button if everything is correct the last entries should have this entire data right so which means now i can do anything with it i can do let's just say user create first i'll import this model okay and in here password we will use the bcrypt function and hash it okay so with this let's just try once more okay okay and i hit the register button let's open up tinker i have a shortcut but you know still php artisan tinker and just see if we have two users or not because i had one user already which was using reach me and this is not created that's strange ideally it should have been executed dollar user equals this and why don't we do logger dollar user just see what is the problem any constraint email right Oh, okay. I think I have an uh, user with that email address already. So I haven't handled the validation. That's why this problem is coming up, which we are going to see later in this video. But hit refresh. And am I able to get it? Yes, we do. 
so we have this user which was originally there and then I have this one so fine you know we have the new user however this is just the happy path we haven't done any kind of validations or anything and that is very much a part of you know, our uh, process because you saw that you know the email was duplicate and still I was not able to do anything about it I couldn't understand what was the problem so we have the ability to run the validations the same way we will do it in our controller the only thing is we don't need to send the request okay I'll just need to define the rules so the first thing name is required let's just say minimum three I have email and password confirm password so email required I need to see the unique um, documentation I kind of always refer to the documentation I keep forgetting about it so available validation rules unique right unique in database so I have unique users email address right I can copy this it's exactly what I want Hmm. It's not in the array format which I wanted. Let's just add that. Email underscore address is it? No, 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 no. It's not like that. So it's unique in the table users and the column is email. It should be of type email. I think that's the correct one. So password is required, minimum is six. Six, and why don't we have, you know, use one more rule, which is same, I think. It's called same as or same, same. Same, and then field. The given field must match the field under validation. So I can have confirm password, right? Confirm password should be same. And then comma right now same password okay this is kind of done I think so hit refresh inspect element inside network I'll hit refresh and wow well, it gives you a 400 which is a little different however you can see there is an error bag okay these are all empty which is fine but I have an error bag where it says the email address must be a valid email name password so everything you know, is kind of working the only thing which I haven't received back is confirm password so there must be some typo which is creating this problem so I have wired it to this or maybe it's, it's not triggering is it let's see I'll add this as well required rule and hit refresh and let's just see I should have this now yes I do okay so because you know the password was not uh, doesn't doesn't have any value so the confirm password was not even executing but now we have the error bag right so how do we show those errors in our form so again like Laravel provides us you know an easy way to show the errors uh, in Livewire we have a helper function through which we can achieve this very easily I'll have uh, my cursor here on all these fields and then let's have at the rate error okay name of the field so for now let's just hit add uh, name it's like an if condition so span 
class equals error I you know, will add some red colored styling in here and then we will get the message in the bag and then end error okay so the error is a blade directive which is available with live wire which allows us to you know, kind of um, sorry um, now get this thing now the only thing which we need to do is this is name which is fine this will be email password confirm password now obviously we will not get a red colored thingy but at least we have the fields and we have the errors um, so let's just try it out name we can have uh, something else maybe I'll, I'll do a migration refresh php artisan migrate refresh so now my database is clear i'll be able to add the user again so I'll, uh, amitav reach me these two validations are still you know, triggering and if I remove this, the email validation is not working or it just skips, is it? Dot com is not taken care. Anyways, so basic validations are all obviously you know working. The email has a strange behavior. I don't know why. Um, I just have one, two, three, four, five and one two three four so it should say the confirm pass the password and the confirm password should match which is also correct i didn't have a minimum rule in the field i did i made a mistake and that's a problem so let's try it again one two three one two three four five one two three four now it says it needs six five six and now if I hit save I have a registration form where you know the error bag is not present which means registration is done I'll try to run tinker again user all and we have this request right so yeah this is how you know we can work with validations and one thing which we need to handle as well after the form submit is resetting the form so you know like i told you if i fill the form again so yes i have this form filled up and now if i hit re register i mean the you know, user is created that i know because i can go into tinker do user all and i can see this user was created however this form still retains the old information which is not something which I want so we get a helper function in livewire which allows us to reset the variables to its, to its initial state so what we are trying to do here is once the validation is done and the user is created right okay, I don't need to take it in dollar user right so once this is done our form will be reset to the original state so now if I hit refresh I'll fill up the form uh, let me migrate again and now I will fill up the form right so I have this in entire information in place and now if I hit register you can see the form is now clear and let me go into tinker again and I have this user as well this time with this email address which was you know added so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel